Hello, welcome back to the channel. I'm Damo, and on today's video, it's a special one. You may remember, not done a video for a while, but anyway, long story short, we're going to reveal the new car on the Pedal Out fleet. Okay, there's no cars in the background here, but please, 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 before we get started on this video, if you haven't done already, subscribe to the channel, hit the little bell icon, then you'll get notified whenever we do a new upload. Loads of cool car content. Porsches, the new car, which I'm about to reveal in a second. Volvos, that's the first car that came to my mind. M3s, M3, M3s, uh, other than <laughs> cool car content, he's on there. Go and check us out, subscribe, uh, hit the bell icon. Let's get on with the video. So still no car behind me yet. It's actually, I'm looking at it now. Um, I'm about to turn the camera around and we'll do a little reveal talk a little bit about why we've got it but regular viewers to the channel will note that the last video on here which i haven't done a video for a while was a for sale video for the 944 um, and you may ask the question has the 944 been sold well uh, the answer to that question is yes it has it was advertised for sale for quite a while actually um, and people might go well why on earth did you sell it you put all the heart and soul into it did lots of little jobs it was a car owned before it was a passion type project and it was um, and it ticked that box and it scratched an itch that I had to have a 944 again in the same spec as a, that I'd had originally. That was great. All right. She's there running and there's the trailer. She's going to go, I think, reverse on um, and be at the front. So, yeah, there you go. However, having said all of that, there is a car that I have wanted. This video isn't intended to be all about me, but it is a quite a personal emotional journey. So I'll take you on it. Um, there is a car that I've wanted pretty much for as long as I can remember. I can't even remember the trigger point that said, uh, I want this car. Um, I've always, always wanted one. Um, I'm a little bit tight um, because I'm Northern. So I was never willing to pay over the odds for one. And I wanted one that was running driving mechanically sound that I could get in, go out and enjoy. Um, again, regular viewers to the channel may have spotted in one of my previous videos, I mentioned that I'd viewed one of these cars before. Um, anyway, I viewed another one of them fairly recently. Um, didn't even get to drive it, didn't have a problem with that. Um, and got permission to go out and buy it. So, without further ado, let me reveal the new to the Pedal Out Fleet member. The Volkswagen Carmen Gear. There she is, he is, he. Let's call her he. Um, 1966, UK registered, try and keep her in shot, him in shot, UK registered right hand drive vehicle. From the face of it, from the outside, looks pretty standard. It's arguably missing some silver trims along the side, which he should have. Painted wheels, body is cream colored, not entirely sure of the. Um, colour code but we'll go into that in um, in future videos I think had a, a paint job in 2017 this car was not originally this colour anyway there it is the Carmen gear 1966 1300 air cooled let's get a closer look so we'll do a more detailed video on the specifics of this car however we'll just cover off a little bit about why we got this particular one just to launch it onto the channel um, I guess yeah I, I have always wanted one of these um, ever since 
being young and I, th I think it's the whole cool Volkswagen V-dub vibe which I've um, never really got into um, at all and just probably left it a little bit too late um, but there we go um, I'm kind of there now playing a bit of catch up um, so this is it it's uh, as I say, 1966, UK original car. It was originally green, um, believe it or not, or a kind of greenish colour. Um, it got its paint colour changed in 1990 to white, um, and I think it was a pretty strong white, whereas um, in 2017 it had a bit of a bodywork done on it, quite a lot of bodywork bowl accounts, and it's, it's not the finest, if we're honest, um, work ever to give it this lovely cream colour which I can't actually remember uh, what it's called but there we go that is it ladies and gentlemen it is tax zero because it's classified as a classic it is MOT exempt however their previous owner is was is previous owner was he was the previous owner is a lovely guy who uh, lavished lots and lots of love care and attention on this carbon gear um, if he's watching this I can't thank him enough really for kind of making the dream come true as it were so um, which is very good anyway lots of love was um, given to this car and it's, it's been MOT the last three years so uh, with a couple of local sort of air cooled type specialists have kept this car well fettled in good running mechanical order to keep it going and on the road and you can see from a distance beautiful I just love the styling. Always wanted one with the um, slightly slimmer, more elegant, in my opinion, rear lights versus the sort of larger, more uh, safety conscious sort of rear lights. Here you go, you can see the 1300 badge. And the reason I wasn't sure about whether describing it as a boy or a girl, I'm not into giving cars gender or giving them names actually but the number plate does lend itself to the name Howard hence I think for its life this car needs to shut the door has been known as Howard so this is it um, this car is a boy kind of technically called Howard um, new to the pedal out fleet um, yeah so I guess uh, that's sort of why so you get all of the cool benefits of classic motoring, free tax, no MOT. Um, the downsides, obviously, you get, get safety features. You can forget about naughty 60 times, but you know, you're driving this car, you are not in a rush and you just don't really need, need to. In fact, driving this has made me ever wonder why I was ever so obsessed with naught 60 times. Um, you're not getting to 60 in this and in the real world, there aren't that many opportunities, let's be honest, where you use um, or cared much about the 0-60 time anyway, unless you're on a, a track or a drag strip. This car is just not what this is about. Um, and that's what I love about it. It's just, it's just for getting around bare bones, back to basics, motoring with a beautiful sounding Volkswagen air-cooled engine. So there it is guys, Howard is officially welcome to the Pedal Out Fleet and first video on the channel. So yeah, kind of delighted. I'm going to do another video, I'm going to film it in conjunction with this, there'll be a part two with this. We're going to go into a bit more detail, get inside, go for a drive and explain a bit more uh, about this particular example. Um, yeah, so I guess what I'm going to do with it for now, um, use it, drive it. Yeah, I'm having a bad hair day. Um, go to a few shows, hopefully. Um, cruise around in it. Um, there's not much left of summer, but um, it will get a loving place. It already has a loving place in the garage, so it's well protected. Um, and it's just going to get used and be a thing of enjoyment. We'll probably do some little bits of uh, tinkering on it and not necessarily modifications, but things to get it even more running in better tip-top condition than it is already. There isn't much wrong with it, but there are a few things. So. Uh, if you haven't done already, click the subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, give this video a like, write in the comments, tell me what you think, and don't forget um, to share it around. So yeah, lots more to come with Howard, the Volkswagen Carmen gear. Thanks for watching, guys. Stay tuned. Part two, we'll go in, look at Howard in a lot more detail. Cheers.